it's the middle of the night, and a van is making suspicious deliveries to some of the poshest residences in Manhattan. The driver drops off a black bag with a phony name on the label. Then he picks up an identical bag, which is empty. Oh, okay. okay. What's going down here? And who was the recipient of the mystery bag? This is a real big celebrity, but I can't tell you who it is. It looks like a high-class drug operation, but this is actually one of the latest secrets of how the rich and famous stay young. The contents of the bags are gourmet meals, nutritionally balanced and made to order. Comes in the middle of the night with a little black cooler bag, which is ice packed and it's air sealed. It's fresh with your food, three gourmet meals, two delicious snacks. Welcome to the Zone Diet, the trendiest way for health conscious celebrities to eat. Over food? If you think celebrities have everything handed to them on a silver platter, well, you're not far off. But we did find one star who owns up to being his own dieter. Former Baywatch beauty, Angelica Bridges. And she when Angelica worked on Baywatch, maintaining a perfect body was part of her contract. That's where the zone comes into play. You can get it at 5 o'clock in the morning, so you have your food right there. Before you leave for work, there's no excuse. It's more than convenient. It's a lifesaver. That's why Bridges isn't the only celebrity who swears by the zone. Bernadette Peters has supposedly not missed a meal in, in a year. She's, you know, religiously on it, as well as Matt Dillon and Cindy Lauper. We have what we call our lifers. They never, they never miss a day. They're doing it day in and day out. A daily zone diet consists of 30% protein, 30% fat, and 40% carbs. Every star is different, and in the world of deluxe dieting, one size definitely does not fit all. You need someone like an athlete like Michael Jordan or, you know, these um, Olympic athletes, and they're going to need maybe six or seven meals a day. With yeah, what's across the street on that? 70th Street. All drop-offs are made under cloak of darkness, which celebrities in particular like. They usually go under a pseudo name of some sort so that people, I guess, in my organization don't know and possibly other people from the outside. Hard to bring their Hollywood clients are Brad Pitt, Winona Ryder, and Cindy Crawford. The bigger the name, the greater the demand for a tiny waistline. There is so much pressure on, on celebrities and on public figures to, to look a certain way. You have to stay in shape. You have to look good. One bad picture, and it's in the press the next day. Wow, did you see her at that premiere? God, she was looking really bad. God, did you see how much weight she's gained? But at the same time, everyone expects staying fit to at least appear effortless. So any stars who need help maintaining their perfect image try to keep their secret diets a secret. 